in the face of dwindling government revenue as a result of the drop in crude oil prices and the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic. Yobe State Governor May Malaboni matches all in delivering his campaign promises to the people. From continuation of projects inherited from previous administration to initiation and execution of new ones, the administration has continued to deliver key facilities to sustain the steady growth of the pride of the Sahel. On this week's episode of Impact Yobe, the State Commissioner for Finance and Economic Development, Alhaji Musa Mustafa, speaks on how the state is managing its meager resources to deliver on its mandate. Welcome to Impact Yobe. I am Femi Akonde. Following the death of the former chairman of Gulani local government area of Yobe State, Ahmed Musa Gulani, Governor May Malabuni has sworn in his deputy to replace him. In his speech, Governor Buni urged the newly sworn in chairman to be just and fair to the people of his council, stressing that it should build on the successes recorded by the late chairman. The governor also urged the new chairman to strive to run an open policy in his administration for the benefit of all and sundry. This is done in conformity with section 23 of the Job State Local Government Law as amended. I wish to congratulate you on your new responsibilities and urge you to build on the successes recorded by the late chairman. As a leader of Bulani Local Government Council, you should strive to keep the council and people united, maintain open door policy and promote peaceful coexistence for the development of the area and your best state in general. Governor Buni also inaugurated members of the State Audit Service Board in line with the provisions of the Public Service Audit Law. The Republic of Nigeria. That's how we strive to preserve. Addressing the new board members, Governor Buni said the essence of establishing the Audit Service Board is to advise government on policy issues relating to audit. The governor congratulated the newly appointed chairman of the board and its members for the well-deserved appointments. The functions of the board include confirm the selection and appointment of persons recruited by the Auditor General of the state and local governments, handle all matters of promotion of staff of the offices of the Auditor General for state and local governments, Subject any staff of the Office of the Auditor General to disciplinary processes and impose sanctions based on recommendations of the Auditor General for state and local governments. Perform such other duties and functions as are necessary or expedient for the purpose of discharging its functions under this law. The Audit Service Board shall advise the state government on policy issues relating to audit matters. Governor Buni named the board members and the antecedents which gave them the appointments. The new chairman is a familiar name in the audit profession in the state, as he was once an auditor general of Yobe State before his retirement from the civil service in 2010. I believe he will bring his well noted leadership qualities and wealth of experience, especially in internal audit, risk management, internal controls accounting method, financial balancing and data analysis to bear in deciding these new responsibilities. The pioneer members of the board, which include Yusuf Alaji Aji Amshi, Lawang Abba Wasili, Dr. Umar Majalam Ibrahim, Alaji Malagana and Haruna Usman Kolere are indeed men of hard work dedication and proven integrity in their civil service career before retirement. They possess vast knowledge in public finance management, which is one of the criteria used for their merited appointments. I congratulate you all and enjoin you to work hard and promote teamwork with the management staff in accordance with the rules and regulations on which the board was established. These appointments provide you with another opportunity to contribute 
to accountability, probity, and prudent management of government resources for optimum performance of our administration. You should therefore abide by the oath of allegiance and the oath of office to which you have sworn to uphold. I wish you a successful tenure of office and pray to Almighty Allah to guide you in the discharge of your duties for the overall development of the state. Let me remind us all on the need for continuous prayers to Almighty Allah for the full return of peace, bumper harvest and prosperity of our state and the nation at large. The Yobe State Government, through the State's Ministry of Transport and Energy, has hosted a two-day Northeast Zonal Conference of Directors and Chief Road Traffic Officers. The theme of the event is Innovation Road Safety Strategies. Representing Governor Ney Malabuni at the event is the State Commissioner for Transport and Energy, Abdullahi Kukua. The participants were drawn from Yobe, Adamawa, Taraba, Bauchi, Gombe and Bono State. Cultural troupe entertained participants with dancing steps. <laughs> much grateful to Almighty Allah for giving us a leader, a focused and determination in person of Honorable May Malabuni, FCVA, Choroman Gujuba, as the Executive Governor of Yobe State, who has the entire people of Yobe at Yobe State at hand. It is evidently clear that this year's Zonal Conference theme is innovative road safety strategies. The theme goes with the vision of this administration of His Excellency Honorable Mai Malabuni for the provision of infrastructures like road traffic, administration and enforcement in order to protect lives and properties of its citizens by ensuring some essential and meaningful developmental particular development, particularly in developing states like ours, which is your state. You will all agree with me that state occasions will no doubt bring about a lot of innovation and strategies in reviewing, imposing and assessing a dynamic traffic management and control strategies to create an awareness among stakeholders on brief traffic law, good driving culture, enforcement of traffic rules and regulations on all our road networks across the state. This will go a long way in improving the socio-economic development of the society and minimize road accidents. Finally, on behalf of myself and the entire staff of the Ministry of Transport and Energy, I want to register our appreciation for the Bike Inspections Administration National Body, as well as the zonal offices, to end this year's important zonal conferences in our state capital here in Damatu. In his speech, the chairman of the State House of Assembly Committee on Transport and Energy, Abdullahi Bazwa, said the importance of road safety cannot be overemphasized. Every nation has its own road traffic, uh, road traffic safety services and programs that are aimed to prevent accidents and reduce the severity of their consequences. Today in Nigeria, road accident is one of the most dangerous threats to the health and life of Nigeria. The problem is associated, with, uh, is associated to the fact that people injured in accidents are usually healthy and young before the accident. Traffic officers and other law enforcement agencies in the transportation sector are doing and giving their best in enforcing the rules and regulations and, and also explore active means of road safety, but that is not enough. Hence, the need for innovative strategies to increase the safety on our roads. Let me conclude by saying that every participator of the road is responsible uh, for his or her safety and the safety of those around him, as well as safety of other roads around him. So anytime you are on the road, the importance of safety. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I am fully convinced that the road accident related injuries and deaths will be reduced provided that all stakeholders in the road transportation system are committed <coughs> in implementation of the rules and regulations guiding our traffic as well as exploring 
other safety measures. I urge all participants to examine the issues dispassionately in the best interest of the country. This conference is aimed to give us opportunity to bring up issues that affect our states in dealing with traffic issues. In view of that, I am urging all of us here to put our heads together to discuss matters that will help and upgrade or move our directorate and department forward. I will also urge us to employ technology in trying to achieve the theme of this conference, that is innovative road traffic strategy by uh, adopting, that is by making all our transactions activities automated, which will improve the safety of our road and also improve the revenue base of our various states. Governor May Malabuni, represented by the Commissioner, noted that the deliberations will enable the road traffic officers to come up with creative ideas that will aid generation of funds and sanity on the road. Kukua highlights measures taken by the Boni administration in curbing fatal accidents across the state. The importance of this event is further understood and underscored by the commitment of participants to minimize drunkenness and accidents amongst the children. In our attempt at providing safety to commuters within the states, the present administration of your president has taken the following measures. One, establishment of computerized vehicle inspection centers in Damatu, Potosco, and Genshua in order to provide a framework for inspection of vehicles for road workers that did digitally to avoid applying faulty vehicles on our roads. Two, establishment of the Obey Road Traffic Management Agency in the state with the aim of reviewing, reviewing enforcing, and assessing a dynamic traffic management and control strategy to create a free traffic rules, a free traffic forum good driving conditions culture and enforcement of traffic rules and regulations on all road roads across the states. Three, provision of maintenance of street lights along the major and the township roads. D, establishment of driver's security test centers that are DTT in the state to ascertain the knowledge of drivers on highway road and the road traffic regulations before they could be road tested on vehicles in all in an effort to ensure strict compliance to standard rules in our in our in order to avoid accident in the state and the beyond. E, the, the construction of the pedestrian bridges on track A road serves as a serious countermeasure in reduction of road accident against pedestrians. Four, I wish to take this opportunity to appeal to all participants to consider intensive enlightenment on commercial vehicles operators and also contributes meaningfully in the deliberations that will ensure later in this conference. I would like to assure all participants to this conference that we will welcome new ideas for the safety of our citizenry and the betterment of the state. 
As participants from the North East, where we have suffered a lot from the impact of this agency, we should not relent in our prayers for full return of peace, recovery, and the prosperity of our region and nation. Following devastating flood disaster that affected farming activities in 2020, the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, has distributed farm input to victims in Damagun community of Yobe State. <laughs> According to the leader of NEMA officials, the gesture followed directive by President Muhammadu Buhari to assist flood victims in 11 local government areas of the state. To support farmers that were affected by the 2020 flood in the 36 states of the Federation and the FCT. Either those who had their farmlands washed away or some completely submerged. This is in order to nip in the bud any negative effects that disaster may fall because to food production, so as to ensure food security in the country is improved. 393 farmers are going to receive seeds, agrochemicals, which comprises of pesticides, herbicides, growth enhancers, knapsack sprayers, water pumps, and fertilizers. At this juncture, I want to use this privilege to appreciate the government of Yobe State for giving my team a wonderful cooperation. Permit me to specially thank the Executive Governor, His Excellency Ahajimal Marabuni, the Deputy Governor, Alaji Idibardo Gubana, Yobe State Minister of Agri, especially the Yobe State Agricultural Development That's Program, for releasing their experienced staff. Speaking with newsmen, the Executive Secretary of the State Emergency Management Agency, Mohamed Goje, shed small light on the revalidation exercise and targeted beneficiaries. There with the priority of His Excellency, Governor Mewala Buni, the federal government is keen into the response to the flood of the, our, our flood victims. These are flood victims of 2020, farmers that were affected by flood of 2020, and this is from the National Emergency Management Agency. The farmers were enumerated and validated uh, some few months ago, and today their inputs will be given to them. Of course, the rainy season is, uh, is almost uh, going out, but then we have dry season farmers, and these are real farmers that we have validated, and we believe that these inputs, will, they will make good use of it, and to at least cushion the uh, effect that, uh, that has affected them during the flood season. Of course, 2021 uh, too, we have a lot of flood cases, especially across almost uh, all, all the 17 LGS and a lot of communities. That response has been ongoing through the state government, and we still look forward to partner with other, other, key, other stakeholders to support our victims. Um, as directed by His Excellency, the priority of intervention is to give to the genuine beneficiary. So that's why we are here, we want to validate their pictures are captured, and data are captured, the community leaders are here, and the local government stakeholders are also here to ensure that these are true beneficiaries that will receive the items. Yeah.